this is insane. How many how many crashes have we seen so far? Probably five. Whole bunch. So we're gonna take it easy. This is crazy. I feel like every winter storm in Wisconsin still needs you to stop for cheese curds. This is officially my first time ever hot tent camping. Just got up to Northern Wisconsin. Uh, we actually had a small campground and uh, privately owned, but these people are super cool. They just let us camp here. <laughs> I just called them and I asked them if I could come use the primitive spot and they were like, yeah. Go for it. So we're going for it. We are at uh, a place that I've been to before. We were actually here, or I was actually here about a year and a half ago. I didn't tell you guys this, but well, you probably already know this if you watch my channel. This is the first time I've ever set up a hot tent ever. And I mean, actually, because <laughs> I never even set it up at home. <laughs> I broke the cardinal rule. Uh, and I'll tell you why I broke the cardinal rule in a little bit, but we're gonna <laughs> hope everything's in here. And uh, if you are an avid hot tenter, you're going to uh, be laughing quite a bit during this entire setup, so. I think there's four corners on this thing. Uh, I think the corners are connected by these guy lines here. Let's see. This was a terrible idea. I don't know if the ground is frozen, probably. And this thing is ginormous. It's got to be pretty loose because once I put the center pole in, <laughs> this is going to be like the guy who watches football and like when his favorite player screws up, they're screaming at him right now. No, no, that's wrong. You idiot, you idiot. All right. <laughs> Is that what you're doing right now? Are you screaming at your uh, YouTube video? All right, we're gonna we're gonna default to the to the setup video. I downloaded a setup video. <laughs> yeah, lightweight hunting and backpacking shelter that hey, sleeps up to. Six you know you do this kind of stuff too. Let's discuss the okay. setup. And Was I supposed to put the pole in next? Your center pole and raise the tent. Then stake out the remaining. Yes, yeah, center pole now. That's it. We're done. So in this situation, we are going to use these sideways because they are not staying in the ground. One thing I don't like about burying stakes like this is that in the morning it's like breaking through cement because it usually freezes solid. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing gloves, it's because right now the temperature is 37. It's supposed to drop to, what is it supposed to drop to, Tim? 14, 14 overnight. So this will definitely freeze, which means I'm gonna have to use the special tool I bought. Ooh, more on that later. More on that later, yeah. <laughs> if you're a true bushcrafter, you're gonna just die about from what we brought. I know all those bushcrafters and hot tenters are just screaming right now. Uh, this is my first time. You just remember back to when it was your first time setting up a TP style hot tent like this. So I did a video. A couple weeks ago, if you missed it, about this YouTuber is a complete fraud. And it was about me only showing you the stuff that I want to show you. Well, I apparently went back on that because I don't want to show you this part. <laughs> I want you to see me all set up like I know what I'm doing. But I think it's kind of fun, right? Watching me struggle here. I'm having fun. I know you. <laughs> Guess what I didn't bring? My pocket knife. Ooh, that is a, that's an EDC fail. But we're, somebody's showing up here that uh, you haven't seen in a while. If you're an OG viewer of the channel, you will remember him. And he should be here, I guess he's gonna be probably any minute within the next maybe 10 minutes or so. Yo, Dan! Dan Becker! Yo, Dan! Hey! Hey! You? We're coming in! Look who made it here. <laughs> if you are an OG of the channel, you'd remember Gordon. What's up? 
my very first editor. Back here, a year Back, later. A year later. <laughs> Should we do like one of those like musical, <laughs> like dreamy cuts that right yeah, now. cuts and then cut back? Thank you. We knew he'd have a knife. We knew he'd have a knife. How many knives do you have? Uh, are with me? I don't know. How many? How many? How many? Think. We, we like guessed. Five. Yeah, that's what we guessed. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a little small uh, titanium wood burning stove. That uh, obviously goes inside of the tent safely. It's got little legs to keep it off the ground. And uh, we're gonna try it out for the first time. <laughs> we're gonna try it out for the first time tonight. And uh, see how it goes. Is there any smoke coming out the chimney? Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Now we're cooking. There's also smoke in here too. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. I don't think I'm gonna have this stove going all night because I've heard carbon I'm Carbon monoxide is a big deal in these tents. So I'm probably gonna light it before I go to bed, you know, let it go out, whatever, warm up the tent for a little bit. It's only gonna stay warm for a little while. So I brought my full winter setup. I got a, a Thermarest Neo X Therm. That's a winter pad. And then I got this uh, negative 15 sleeping bag here from Outdoor Vitals. And then just a kind of a tarp laying here as a ground cloth. Temps are expected to get to like maybe 13 degrees tonight Fahrenheit. So uh, this is the warmest bag that I've got, and so I think I'll be uh, toasting one. Earlier I mentioned uh, the tool that I was gonna show you a little bit later. Well, I just wanna say that um, no person who's hot tenting should do it without a chainsaw. So this campsite is amazing. It comes with a little bit of a shed here that's full of firewood, but the firewood is a little too long to fit inside of the stove, so. All we gotta do is cut it in half. I was wondering who was gonna start a fire, but then I remembered that I've got Gordon with me, who's a literal survival expert. Taught him for eight years. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, by the way, he's got a YouTube channel now. You should go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. It's coffee time. I have uh, I've got uh, the brew company. Um, we've been drinking this for several months now, and this is a pour over coffee. So it's actually all in one pour over coffee. You don't need like an extra cup or an extra anything. So check that out. This one's from Honduras. You just pour it in here, nice oh, and slow. Okay. Just like a pour over. Nice. And then you let it steep for like three, four minutes. Oh, cool. And it's going into the next compartment, which pours oh, out the spout. Oh, nice. And then you can, if you want to, you could just reuse this bag like a million times. So you could really? put your own coffee in it, yeah. Dude, it smells good. And it's oh, like it's cool. gourmet coffee from like <clears throat> different places around the world. Just I got that? more. I brought a bunch. You can have one. Dude. For sure. I would love that. Absolutely, they're in that brown, my blue bag. Grab one. Oh, wow. What do you, what do you use that one? This one is uh, Honduras. I just grabbed it. Okay. Premium specialty coffee. Oh, yeah, that, cool. see that one's from Kenya. We were just in, we were just in Kenya. Look at that. Oh. I could have brought, I could have brought this home with me. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so then you just let it steep Very for a few cool. minutes. And uh, yeah, and oh. it, look at, you get mild to strong. I mean, yeah. it's premium organic. Wow. So it's, it's, it's really good. What are you cooking? Some Campbell's, Campbell's Chili Mac. Oh, really? You oh, brought yeah. a can of chili. I That's bought a right. can we're of winter, soup. We're winter camping. It's, <laughs> it's uh, okay to do that. Tim, what are you, what are you uh, eating? Uh, oh, I think tonight's a uh, little, uh, little, little peak, peak refuel. Peak refuel? What are, what are you eating? Oh, peak refuel. This oh. is not a commercial. It's just... It's <laughs> <laughs> just happens. Beef pasta me. marinara. Man, look at this mess. No. Look at this. This is ridiculous. This is not like us, but we have a lot going on here. And we've been doing a lot of stuff. What is that? Okay, survival tabs. The best possible nutrition in the smallest possible volume. <laughs> Here you go. There you go. Want to try one? Yes, I do. Right. Okay. How many calories is in this? Like 240 or something like that? Do you know the full? It says serving size 12 tablets, 240 calories. Oh. <laughs> so it's not. 12 tablets. <laughs> yeah. I was like, one tablet? There's no way. You got to eat 12 of those. Huh? It does. It tastes like um. Tums. 
Yeah, like a really bad Tums. <laughs> and I don't even have a tummy ache. But for some reason, I want another one. Yeah, well, you gotta eat 11 more <laughs> to get <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I have created an ultimate cook pot setup. It's a mixture of two, and I'm not recommending anybody buys this because it's probably stupid expensive to do this. But, so Soto makes a, um, a cook system, a cook pod, and like a koozie and all that stuff that's really amazing. And I like everything about it except the pot is aluminum, and I just like a titanium pot. But it's a 700 mil pot, and so I swapped it out with the titanium Tox 750 mil pot, which is the same uh, diameter pot. So check this out. So basically what you get is the uh, plastic Soto lid that actually presses down into the, uh, the cup, the pot, and stays there. So you can strain with it, you can sip out of it, um, and it's just nice to keep the liquid hot on the inside. Um, and then it also comes with the koozie, which is really cool because it keeps your, your uh, pot warm uh, if you got some coffee or whatever on a, on a night like tonight, so. That's a win. Right now these guys are talking about um, YouTube microphones and uh, <laughs> graphs and kilowatts and other nerdy sound stuff because they're all editors and mic people. I have nobody else to talk to, so I'm talking to you. I might go to bed. I love 300, especially on a snare drum. <laughs> Holy crap. Save me. Yeah, let me show you what I got going on here. So, got the stove going. Got a little uh, pile of firewood that I split up uh, just before bed here. And I'm cozied up on the far end of the tent. Far enough away that there's no issues. I've got this um, sort of, it's supposed to be a bathtub floor. I think I bought the uh, wrong one because it doesn't fit in here right. So I've just got to kind of shove to the side here. Uh, but I got my sleeping pad on it. And uh, man, this is, this is like way too cozy for a tent <laughs> in the winter. I've never been in a situation like this. It's, it's got to be close to 70 degrees in here right now. I'm like ready to take all of this off and just sleep on top of my sleeping bag. That's crazy. So I don't think I'm gonna be working this uh, stove all night long because honestly, I'm a little concerned about carbon monoxide poisoning. And uh, yeah, that would be terrible. <laughs> so um, I think I'm just gonna let this burn until it goes out. And then I'll just, you know, be all cozied up and warm in my negative 15 degree sleeping bag. And it's supposed to get down to like 13, I think. I haven't checked the weather in a while, but um, I'm not I'm not concerned about it at all. I think I'm going to be toasty warm. And then, uh, yeah, man, everybody else is doing great. Gordon is actually testing out some gear for a video that he's working on. So <laughs> he's got a sleeping pad that's way underrated. And then Tim and Emmett are in their own hot tent doing the exact same thing as me. So this is like crazy luxury winter camping. <laughs> but it's fun. So I, I, I get it. I get it why hot tenters do this. Um, it's a lot of work. I'll, I'll tell you that. A lot of work to stay warm in a tent. But the experience has been fun for sure. So yeah, let's uh, we'll <laughs> let you know by morning how it turns out. So. Good night, everyone. Good morning. First off, I just want to say I hate creepy morning shots from tents. <laughs> but I thought I'd do it anyway because uh, I figured you'd want to know how I slept. And I slept so good. Uh, but I was, uh, I did let the fire burn out. I just slept super warm in this uh, sleeping bag. Uh, so I just started the fire. I haven't even taken my legs out of the bag. I'm close enough to be able to reach. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to just let it warm up and then I'll put on my ice cold boots. Uh, but man, that was really, really good. So hot tent didn't keep me warm. The, uh, sleeping bag did, but it's super nice to have a hot tent in the morning. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> to know that I could just 
reach over to light the fire to warm up the tent. Looks <laughs> pretty cool. Is it cold out there? <laughs> it's a bunch of liars. Oh. <laughs> you get a suntan? Yeah. I don't even want to go out there. <clears throat> it's too nice in here. <laughs> it's probably 15 degrees out there right now, and I think it's... Oh gosh, it's got to be close to 60 degrees in here right now. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Okay, so if I had to rate hot tenting... One out of 10, 10 being like the greatest thing ever, I would probably rate it maybe an eight, which is actually pretty good. I don't think I would be doing this on a regular basis. It was a lot of work um, and I was able to do it to stay warm for like just a few hours. <laughs> and the rest of the time, you know, you're just freezing, sleeping in your normal setup anyway. But um, yeah, it's first time only, so maybe I'm way off on that. You hot tenters, comment below, tell me how wrong I am. Um, and then tell me what I did wrong too, because I would love to know as a first timer, <laughs> especially setting up the tent, how it went. So yeah, other than that, it was an awesome trip. It was a great time. And uh, yeah, so I think, I think I'm gonna do it again. I think I'm gonna try it again. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next one.